Thank you, Matt Cesara, for your kind presentation. Um, as you said, that uh, it's, a, it's a honor to, to take uh, the place of Robert Schroeder to, to make the presentation regarding the EIP. And uh, I would also like to thank uh, Novi One Project for inviting us to be here today as part of the panels. So I'm going to go through uh, the presentation that uh, Robert Schroeder prepared for today. Uh, I would like to, to say sorry if I, I don't express correctly any of the messages, but uh, I'm sure Robert will be happy to answer to, to, to any doubt, any question you will have or, or any further explanations you, you may require. I will try to do my best, and, and here we go then. So the objectives of the EIP is to facilitate, support, and speed up development and applications deployment of innovative solutions to the water challenges, um, and to create market opportunities for innovation. Um, I think the most important message here is that uh, Europe has understood that water is an strategic sector and wants to make sure that uh, European water uh, companies are, are able to keep the leadership that today have, and, and the market is being uh, very aggressive uh, from other from other regions like Singapore, uh, where a lot of technology is being developed, and Europe doesn't want to, to to get a step behind. So this initiative is is the objective that, that they have. So. Um, where, where should we, uh, how, how do Europeans see this uh, process of developing technology and get to a, to a market solution, marketable solution? So, first of all, research, technology development, market applications, and a very important issue, which is export. Uh, if you want to be uh, leading worldwide, then European companies have to export their solutions. And they have different initiatives uh, through the, all the value chain. And the EAIP on water is focusing this process and, and wants to, to, to drive these efforts in this direction. Okay, it's important to give this message, and I know that from the Commission is always very, uh, they make a lot of attention on making sure that we get this message clearly, that the EIP is not a funding instrument but it will help to mobilize various existing EU funding mechanisms like from FP7 or Horizon 2020 or also uh, cohesion funds or life program. And of course to leverage with national and regional private uh, funding. One of the important things that have come out uh, from the EIP in the, I would say in the, this four or five months since it exists is um, and the strategic implementation plan. Uh, I, I can later give some of my personal view on that in the, in the next uh, panel on how this process was done. But at least what we can say here following the, the presentation of Robert is that uh, the result was that we, we came out on the AIP on defining specific priorities regarding the water sector. There are some of them that we call them pillars, which are the water reuse and recycling, water and wastewater treatment, water energy nexus, risk management of extreme water events, and ecosystem services. There are also some three cutting <coughs> issues, uh, cross-cutting, like financing for innovation, water governance, and management model and monitoring. And this was also a, a ninth uh, issue, which was smart technologies that at the end was uh, or should be everywhere in this uh, picture. So we decided to, to call him like an enabling factor and should be embedded everywhere. And with this, we, we, we came up with, uh, with these priorities. And the idea is that um, somewhere in the future, European Union will focus uh, their R&D efforts and innovation in those priorities. Within the EIP also, we have uh, start, uh, start two other initiatives, um, what we call the initial actions and action groups. Uh, what this means is that uh, for each of those nine priorities, uh, or eight plus one, um, 
we found out specific actions that have been uh, that has to be uh, have to be uh, started as soon as possible, um, and creating some uh, working groups around them to try to uh, move forward in those areas. So, 28 initial actions were formulated, and these action groups is going to be established for, as I was saying, to, to move forward in this direction. And it has been already issued a call for expression of commitments, uh, which is a deadline, which is the 4th of April. And even the, the I think the, the deadline is the same as the what a in demo call, so in order to make sure that it does not make any confusion, there are two different calls, one for in demo call and this one we're talking about, which is our action groups. So, um, a little more about the action groups. They will not have uh, direct funding. Um, I would say not even indirect one. <laughs> Uh, requirements. So it should be a multidisciplinary composition, international, of course, within the European Community, reporting on progress and contrary innovation barriers and proposals for removal of barriers. And the incentives is to work under the EIP framework, so it will be kind of labeled by the EIP. Visibility and network opportunities, influence on policy development, and a strong position for future EU funding op opportunities. So, um, as I will explain, this is that uh, the Commission wants uh, already to, to make sure that we start working together with this idea of uh, finding solutions that can be marketable for the future, uh, giving European this leadership we don't want to, to lose. And um, the, the, what, we can, what we can do is uh, we will get uh, benefits uh, on our own because we will make those uh, strength links between companies, organizations within Europe that will help us to, to, to get to the market. And of course, uh, as it says in the, in the last sentence, uh, they will be in a strong position for getting funds in future calls. Uh, within the the EIP, uh, apart from the priorities we mentioned, they have to, we, have all of, we also have these two uh, other issues, which is the task force activities and tools. The task force activities, uh, we will identify the best practices, bottlenecks, and advice on policy development in areas such as public procurement, innovative financing, and standards. This means that the task force that is, has been created within the EIP will continue its work as, as, as a part of it with these important objectives. And there will be also uh, within the EIP these tools that I'm here saying open, to open to all actors dealing with water and innovation, web-based marketplace, and potential tools like booster teams, trade missions, innovation competitions, platforms, water fund. So this task force together with these tools and with the action groups, we'll make this uh, EIP day-to-day um, day -day work. This is a picture trying to summarize all what we have been more or less uh, presented up to now. So uh, the steering group, which is in the bottom of the, of the picture, is really what will be the, the giving the recommendations or the guidelines for a task force, which is really um, where most of the, of the, I would say, the work is going to be done supported by the action groups. So it should be kind of a loop between the task force and the action group so that we both get information and we really define what are the next steps to be done. And those tools that we were talking on market, and, uh, some annual meeting of the EIP, and et cetera. And uh, from the Commission, want to give today the message on, on to make clear how people like are attending today the conference, or they or the organisation may be involved. So first of all, through the action groups, so to commit to actions defined under the priority areas, and therefore um, presenting some uh, proposals for, for this expression of commitment, and of course within the EIP water tools regarding marketplace, annual conference, and competitions. 
Okay, and in the, in the name of on behalf of Robert Schroeder, I would like to thank you for your attention. And please, uh, if you have any question, I will try to answer. <clears throat>